Hey, what up, my freddies? Welcome back to another Pokemon Showdown YouTube video. I'm your host, Pineapple Fred, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showcasing Choice Scarf Great Tusk. I've actually used this in the last video, I think, with the Fill It Away Veluza, or it was the one before, I don't remember, but, um, yeah, it just goes to show that po Pokemon with Protosynthesis don't need to have the booster energy or the sun up. Well, I will have it up in this video, but giving this thing a Choice Scarf is insane, because its attack stat is really, really goddamn high, and yeah, it's, 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 it surprises the opponent when I got a scarf, so uh, let's start with the Cyclazar. You guys know the whole setup, you know, get the sub up. Uh, and I think I'm going to try and go to Mouse Hold instead. Um, I know that it would be dumb to use Tidy Up because it actually gets rid of the sub. But I mean, if I go to the Cyclazar, I can get a scout on who they're going to start with. So it's a, it's a pretty good way to uh, start the video, I guess. Um, I don't know if there's Salt. If there is, then it's at the end, but there probably isn't. At least, I don't think, because right now, at the time of this recording, I haven't tried hunting, and I'm not- I'm probably not gonna try Hunt for Salt either. I'm quite busy today, I'm just gonna get the video out, and then get back to work, because an adult needs to do stuff, and I am an adult, and I hate being an adult. Uh, I wish I was a, a kid again, just- I could enjoy the Pokemon game, but I'm at the point where, like, the new game, I'm at the point where I got- I beat the- the- the, the giant cloth, that's it. I'm still really far behind it, like, my Pokemon are level 20, and yeah. Okay, so Annihilate starts, uh, this could be Scarfed, you know, to get rid of the Cyclozar, but I'm gonna Shed Tail. Uh, they're gonna close combat, right? So, probably in my best interest to go to the Dragapult instead. They could go for a fighting move here, I feel like. U-turn, alright. Well, my sub died, but um, I'm going to Terrastalize and then Dragon Dance. Because I, I got Dragon Darts and we should be good, right? Yeah, perfect. That is why we Terrastalize to a Fairy type, then we go for Dragon Darts, and this should- oh shit. Nice play. That was a really, really solid play. The Thunder Wave, our Dragapult, um, but we are still faster. Surprise, surprise. Let's go for- let's go for some Psychic Fangs here. Uh, oh shit, that does a lot of damage. But they did land a crit. Unfortunately, none of my moves are super effective on this Dragonite. Um, I guess we'll go for Terror, Terror Blast, just because we got Stab on that now, so... Ooh, not close enough. Yeah, I'm gonna go for Dragon Dance. I'm assuming they're gonna go for Roost again. Yeah, okay, so now Dragon Darts would be my best move to just uh, get rid of the multi-scale. But, yeah. Uh, Gen 9 is very crazy with Pokemon introduced, but I do really like the terrestrialization concept. I love that, but I hate the Pokemon introduced and the moves introduced. It's like, they're just so broken. Like, Dragonite, th this was cool. This is a normal, like, playable set. Like, it's not overpowered. The change to Steel-type obviously makes it more fun. It's interesting. But Pokemon, like, Mousehold is just nuts, you know? Um, they're gonna Thunder Wave or Extreme Speed. And they really can't do shit to the Great Tusk, to be honest. So I'm gonna go to the Great Tusk here. Um, they won't know that I'm Scarfed, because at, at max speed, I think this thing is at 300 speed, so... Uh, I guess I could go for a headlong rush. There's no other flying types on the team, so there's no reason for me not to. Down goes the Dragonite, which is great. Um, for those of you who don't know, headlong rush is a new move that's been introduced. It's basically the ground equivalent of close combat. It's pretty nice. They're going to go for a U-turn, I think. So I'm going to go to the Cyclozar. I think I can eat this up. Oh, Rage Fist. Even better. So we got Regenerator up. And I feel like they're going to U-turn, maybe. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use... No, I'm gonna shed tail. I'm gonna shed tail, and I'm gonna. I'm assuming they're gonna U-turn. If not, then they might go for close combat. I don't know, but I feel like the best play here would be to use shed tail and go into the Skeledurge. Um, Skeledurge is one of the Pokemon, one, one of the Gen 9 Pokemon that are featured more on this channel, so I'm more comfortable with using it. That's why you see it in these videos because I don't have time to experiment with new Gen 9 mods. Um, but Skeledurge is. Uh, I think it's a salt vested, right? Yeah, it's a salt vested, so it can take a special hit, but not a physical. But you know what? It, it, it's just here to be a tank and give me good switch ins. So, and the uh, spare tomb actually has Sunny Day and Memento, just so I can get a, a smooth switch into the Great Tusk. Let's go to the Skeledurge. And the fact that Cyclozar has a regenerator is absolutely nuts. Okay, that was a bad play on my part. <clears throat> I think what I need to do is. I think I'm gonna go to the. They might go for a fighting move now. I don't know. I'm gonna go to the mouse hold here. Assuming they're gonna go for Rage Fist again. 
Yeah, okay, they go for it again, and I'm going to go for the Aerial Ace. I This definitely won't kill it, but it'll do some damage, and I'm, I'm to be honest, kind of happy with it. Wait, no. Dumb. Really dumb. They're going to go for close combat. Now would be the time to go to Spirit Tomb. Sunny Dame Nemento. That's, yeah, I should save Mouse Hold because uh, Technician, Life Orb, and the Population Bomb is still really strong and val uh, valuable, so... Farigraf. Farigraf? <clears throat> God damn, I gotta... Oh man, this was not a, a good time to do a commentary. Hopefully I'm not getting sick again. Let's go for a sunny day. Um, and then I'm gonna go for a memento here. Right? What are the stats of Farigraf? Farigraf, yes. I can't spell, even though it's on the screen. Um, okay, so foul play would have done a decent amount. Now let's go for the... Do I want to go for the Great Tusk? The whole point was to do that, so I guess I will. Uh, Protosynthesis will boost my attack. Now you see why you give this thing a Scarf. If I go for Headlong, I can just spam Headlong Rush. There's no reason for me not to just spam this. I'm faster than everything on its team. Um, the Ice Shard will hurt, but hopefully they don't figure out that we're Scarfed. I am naturally faster than these two, but not the Annihilate. Um, so if they go, okay, we vile. Hopefully they think they're faster and they're gonna go for like Icicle Crash or something. Ooh, that's nice, okay. Uh, they still don't know we're, set, we're Scarfed, but I think we should be able to execute this strat pretty well. Now this one, I'm not too sure if I can kill, but yeah, okay. It was pretty good though. We did, what, like 78%? Yeah, it's pretty good. And then we will go to the mouse hold to finish this thing off with a bullet seed. Actually, you know what? They, they don't have Scald anymore. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for a tidy up. There's no reason not to. They can't... I got like the... Yeah, okay. And then we will Bullet Seed. I like Population Bomb, but the fact that it has 90 accuracy, I guess it balances out because, you know, giving it some, some accuracy debuff is... It's good because ha being able to hit 10 times is pretty crazy. Yeah. Let's go for Bullet Seed and down goes the Gastro Dawn. Um, and then I will... I don't think I can kill the Annihilate with uh, Aerial Ace. Yeah, unfortunately. Um, what's a better move, the Bullet Seed or the Annihilate? I mean, I mean the Aerial Ace. I got it. I need this to hit three times, and that's a very. I don't want to deal with RNG, so I'm just gonna go for the Aerial Ace. Never mind. It does kill the Annihilate. All right, but yeah, this is what I mean. Just two Pokemon from Gen 9 are so absolutely broken. Let's go for a Population Bomb, and this doesn't kill. Because we only hit once. Thank you, RNG. I love you. Um, let's go for Cyclozar. I gave this thing Iron Head just to take care of fairy types. And yeah, the old Draining Kiss and this. Oh my, oh, I feel so bad for this guy. Let's hit him with a GG well played, bud. And I will go right into the next battle. That's honestly never happened before. The first game was so successful, like in terms of the showcase. I did exactly what I wanted to do and it was pretty smooth. So I'm expecting to get absolutely shat on in this second match. They're gonna, they might go for Taunt, so I'm gonna go for an Iron Head. I don't fuck with it. Okay, we will Shed Tail. Uh, this team is honestly very, very scary. Just full of Gen 9 Mons, and they're all still relatively unknown territory for me. I know people have posted a bajillion videos on it, but man, I don't give a shit. Uh, let's go to... I don't know what to do here. I guess the Mouse Hold. And then let's go for a Population Bomb. Right? Oh, parting shot. Okay. Nice. Wait, if I use tidy up, does it get rid of screens? No, right? Uh, it doesn't get rid of screens, unfortunately. Uh, let's go for an aerial ace. This isn't going to do anything. Yeah, that was pathetic. Damn. Okay. Uh, I guess we go for the spirit tomb. Yeah, spirit tomb. Because uh, Skeleturge, I, I, I know it's to take a hit, but the only purpose spirit tomb is here for is to set up the sun. So... Let's go for a sunny day. I could go for the... Ooh. I might go for the foul play instead, actually. Yeah, that that's a, not a move. Never mind. Let's go for Memento. I am very scared of this thing. Uh, let's get the fuck out of here. Wait. No, I didn't think this through. That's not going to do shit. Oh, no. I got to hope that play rough pulls through. I don't think it will. Yeah. Oh, shit. It still did 37%. But you know what? I said it. Uh, the second game, the first game was so successful that I'm expecting the second game to just be a complete shit show. So down goes the great task, unfortunately. Um, 
poorly, mainly because I just played like an idiot there, so... Hmm... What do we do here now? Because we're absolutely fucked. I guess I could go to the Cyclazar and bait the Drain Punch. I'm gonna go for a Shed Tail here, which will give me a sub onto the Dragapult or the Skeledurge, but I think I'm gonna go to the Dragapult. Actually, no. I, I kind of have to go to the Skeledurge, just because th this has got the defense buff, and I, I definitely can't hit it, so... Ridge Fist. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, we've we've definitely lost. I might I might be able to get away with Terras Terrastalizing instead. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to Terrastalize. I know that the Terrastalization is saved for the Dragapult for the Fairy Typing, but... Oh, that is sneaky. That is very clever. I got to try that out too. Yo. All right. Well, they got Terra Blast, and I think this is going to be an L. So do I even bother trying with this match? Because we're, we're <sighs> kind of fucked here. Um, I guess we'll go to the Mouse Hold, and we'll go for Bullet Seed and hope for the best. You want to hit five times and give me a crit? Like... For the last two hits, please. Oh shit! No way! Fuck! <sighs> you know what? That was pretty clutch. I, for a moment there, I got so excited. You wanna give me a crit two dragon pole? Wait, actually no. Do they have any priority? I don't know Armoroge is set well enough. I think Chen Pao has priority. I'm gonna go for a dragon dance. Just banking on the fact that they don't have priority, but they probably do. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely fucked here. Uh, let's go for a dragon, dragon dance. I mean, uh, dragon darts. We do a stab on this, but I don't know if it kills. Oh my god! Thank God for the crit. Can someone let me know if that would have killed without the crit? Um, part of me doesn't think so. Yeah, this thing's probably got the the, the ice shard, right? Sucker punch. Okay, yeah. Uh, unfortunately, we do lose this. And thank you so much for making it to the end of the video, guys. I really do appreciate it. If you're a new viewer. Please consider subscribing because I do make some pretty awesome daily content. And if you're a recurring viewer and you just want to help the channel out, be sure to go down there and leave a like and a comment on the video to help it circulate. And yeah, with that said, why not watch another one of my videos? And if not, I'll see you in the next one.